everybody, welcome back to my channel. I had a comment on one of my previous videos asking me to kind of walk you through what I have in my planner. And at the time, I'll link the video below. At the time I had a classic happy planner as my catch all planner. And I really hate to disappoint all you happy planner fans out there, but I have moved out of this. And so today I'm going to walk you through why I made that decision. Now, first of all, my, my catch-all happy planner had a bunch of different sections in it. One of them was my calendar with to-dos and everything. One of them was a goals section. One was a health and wellness section because I'm having major allergy and asthma issues and I need to keep track of my symptoms each week so that way when I go back to the allergist, I can, um, yeah, there's a, a questionnaire I have to fill out and so I need to keep track of all the symptoms I'm having and whether or not I took my medicine and what medicine I took and how much of it I took and it's, it's a big long spiel. But it also had a budget section in it and a journaling section in it and what I found was that while it worked in theory in my head to start the year with, in practice it was not working for me. Um, first of all, and again, I'll link this other video below, I had to separate out my budget planner. I could not have my budget section in the catch-all planner because it was just too thick and bulky when I would stick all the um, sheets that my kids would bring home and other, you know, bills and things. I would stick it in the planner and it would like bulk up and I couldn't get it to close. And it's supposed to be the catch-all planner, you know, the planner that I'm also referring to for my to-do lists and action plans and everything like that. And it just, it was not working. The other thing that I found was that I'm, I'm very much on the go with my three kids. They're each in a dance class that is their one extracurricular out of school thing that we pay for that they're allowed to do. It could be anything. It used to be soccer, um, but it's just one thing that you know, we, we allot into the budget that we do outside of school. But so between dance classes and therapy appointments and you know my allergy appointments and musical rehearsals and band and chorus and, and all these other things that they have going on, I'm very much on the go. And so taking this, you know, shoved full of paper, it just it wasn't it wasn't happening. And it's also very clunky to sit with and journal at night. I found that I was ignoring my the health section in the planner. If I still had it all together, I would show you that, but I've deconstructed this already and moved on. And so I will show you what I've moved on to. Um, but basically like I started the year off great and first week kids were still home, obviously not that great, but to do, I, I quickly realized the hourly format was not for me. So I went back to a um, three box format and it was great for keeping up with some things. I found that I was always putting in their, an academic decathlon, oh my gosh. I was always putting in their, um, the, the consistent stuff, stuff that was always going on. And sometimes that was literally all I put in here were the consistent things. Um, and so moving into February, I realized it just wasn't working for me. Um, one week, maybe it was the next week is you can, I didn't even fill any of this in. Um, this is the week my dog got spayed and then boom, I just stopped using it all together. The same thing can be said for the wellness one. I had great intentions, set it up and just stopped. And the reason was, is that it was, like I said, it was just too much. I couldn't take this with me if I needed to go somewhere. I do have a traveler's notebook. I love this traveler's notebook for um, on the go because I can easily tuck appointment cards in here. I have a place, I don't want to go too far back because there's notes in there, but I have a notebook for notes. If phone number I need to look up and write down real quick and then call and make call notes while I'm sitting in the car in a parking lot somewhere, because let's be honest, that happens more often than I care to admit. And then, you know, appointments. So this is a Annie Plans printable and it went from July, 2019 with appointments all the way through till June, 2020. And I write in appointments that are coming up. I don't necessarily color code anymore. I kind of know what is happening and 
what's going on. Then back here there's information for our, our puppy and her vet visits and everything. So I love this on the go. I like that I can customize it. I can use scrapbook paper, pretty scrapbook paper and stickers and, and all the things. I'm a scrapbooker. I loved to, I love to scrapbook. Being a mom, I don't have time for it, but I needed something that was portable on the go and not this clunky thing. I think that now March is here rather than wasting this, I'm going to turn it into a memory planner. I do have an HP sprocket um, that I bought as a gift to myself. And I'm just going to start printing pictures off on here and using this as a memory planner. It's something that's, you know, it's, it's bigger, but I can easily fill it with pictures and maybe journal for a, a minute or two and stickers and scrapbook paper and all the things, right? Help kind of help fuel my creative outlet while not wasting this planner. Since the question was, can I walk you through my planner setup? That current planner setup is not working for me. This is what is working for me. Now, I needed something that was bigger that I could write in easily. This hurts my hand. If I were to write in this all the time, my I'd, I would cramp up like you would not believe. So this is great for in my purse on the go and that's where it usually stays. This is something that I can have on my desk. I can easily take it with me if I need it to come in the car with me, if I need it to reference things while I'm in the parking lot of the dance studio or if I need it to reference things while we're in a, in a doctor's appointment or a therapy appointment or if I need it to reference my allergy symptoms for the, the past week, this is what I now use and I love it. I think I've hit that um, planner piece, so to speak. So this is a Foxy Fix number six. I know that, I know it's a wide because there are six strings here, but I only am using five and I'll get to that in a minute. This is just a charm I've had for the longest time I don't even, I can't even remember where I got it from. As far as like the leather on this planner, this planner goes, I don't even, I think it's a Lush. I don't know. I had bought this in a mystery sale because it was a reasonable price and I would not buy something this, like this normal price. Let's, let's be honest. That's too much for my taste, but as something to try that, you know, it's large enough that it can come on the go with me. It can fit in my, believe it or not, it fits in my purse if I set it up like this. Um, and that I can hook pens and things onto that I need, it works. Some things in here I've covered up already, so I don't mind showing you, but. Again, I think it's a Lush. I'm not sure, because it's got that folio pocket. Um, it's got pedal pockets, which I keep stickers in and just scrapbook paper. There's really nothing else in in these pockets because I'm, I'm not a pedal pocket person. I would not have ordered pedal pockets had I done it myself. And then in here are just little script stickers and, and um, camera stickers and things like that. So nothing too major. So like I said, it has six strings and I am only using five. There's five different notebooks in here. All of these, these, dashboard things I made myself from three mil laminate and happy planner stickers. Um, I will link below the products I used in case you know you want to do it yourself. It was super easy. You just put the sticker on, you know, open up the, the laminating sheet, put the stickers kind of where you want them and then run it through your laminator and then cut it to size. So it was super easy, but scrapbook paper, this is literally a white card stock with scrapbook paper, double-sided taped on just to kind of give it that nice appeal to keep me coming back and vellum from Michaels. The scrapbook paper I, I bought at Michaels as well. And then this is a Michaels insert that I bought on clearance. There's three of them in here and then two inserts I made myself. So this was a, a standard sized insert. Again, I bought it at Michael's on clearance. And in here I have a list of places in the house I want to go through and kind of clean out and then tracking. And that was my initial thought was to use this as tracking, but I think I'm going to use it for something different. And that's the beauty of 
these inserts, in my opinion, is that it's kind of like the bullet journal. And I keep going back and forth between Happy Planner and bullet journal all the time that bullet journal is much more compact, but I don't like having everything in one spot. I like to be able to customize. And this is kind of like that perfect meshing. It's big enough that you know, there's enough room to write. It's customizable like the Happy Planner, yet I can divide things out, which I could not do in a bullet journal. Stay tuned on how I'm going to use this. I don't know yet, but definitely not for tracking. I will show you why in a minute. But then we come to the other part of that vellum, the other piece of cardstock, and then the back of that laminate. And this is a Leuchtturm pen loop I bought off Amazon in like a three pack, I think. I'll, I'll link it below. I'll look in my past purchases and link it below. So again, more vellum from Michaels. We're onto our second, no the second notebook now. Um, and the reason I have five in here, I know I said I would get to this. The reason I have five is I hate using this string with the knot. I, it drives me crazy trying to write in there. So I just never use that string. So then again, more vellum from Michaels. Um, this notebook, where's the red, where's the other side of it? Okay, so here's the vellum. And then this is like a little card slot thing that I got from Michaels on clearance. It was $2. And I can fit a picture of my kids in there and I can fit their appointment reminder cards coming up. So these are March appointment reminders. These are May, or April, excuse me, April appointment reminders. And then when May comes, I'll stick them in down here and kind of shift them up as the months go. This, again, we're come with cardstock and, you know, scrapbook paper. Um, this is a monthly insert that I created. And again, more laminate. Um, and just some Coffee Monsters Co. stickers I have here. So I love Lilo and Stitch. That's my favorite Disney movie. And then some little emojis, roosters, snakes, volunteer and dog emojis. And I just keep them there for easy access. This is a pocket, vinyl pocket from Target Dollar Spot I got a while ago. Um, and so this is a 2020 planner that I created and it's got appointments. These are very much like the appointments in my pocket planner, except this is, you know, if I'm out and I have this with me, which I have in the past, I will pencil in where the appointment falls so I can easily see what days I have appointments, what days I don't, and I can pencil in upcoming appointments. And if I don't feel like penciling them in, I will write them in on a little post-it note in the corner. So this becomes a, a big scribbled mess. Um, as you can kind of see here, well, this, this looks actually really nice. Um, and it just, there you go, big scribbled mess. It just goes on from there. So 2020, and then a notes page at the back for anything coming up in 2021 as we get towards the end of the year before I print out the 2021 calendar. Post-it notes and the back side of that pocket with some more emojis, so more stickers, more stickers galore. And I like that I can just tuck it away. I've got the stickers with me in case I need them ready to go. And then the end of that vellum. So that's the lat, that's the second string. The third string, where did it go? The third string is the this month string. So this is another printable that I made um, that's in here. So again, another laminate, more scrapbook paper, more pictures of the kids. Um, it's March, so I put the little rainbow bear and a little U rock. I don't even know what she calls these. Um, my background is in earth and space science, geo-environmental sciences, and so the U rock with some rocks and gems was just, it was too much, it's adorable. And another piece of vellum from Michaels and then the printable that I made. So this is March in particular. And you're probably thinking, but Kate, I've seen this before in the appointments and in, and in this thing. However, when I am making my 
task list for the month and the to-do list, I don't go back and refer those. I refer to this. So what I will do is when we are out for appointments, I will either put them in here or I will put them in here or I will put them in here on my Google Calendar. And what happens is when I sit down at the end of those days where we scheduled a new appointment, I will make sure it's in all the places. A, because my, so my husband knows where we are. B, so that if I'm out with only this and I did not bring this one with me, I know not to overbook myself that day. And C, because it's all in one spot and I can easily then transfer it from here to the next calendar. And not everything from this calendar is on here. So for instance, my son's musical theater rehearsal schedule, I did not put on here. I just put dots denoting what days they are. If I need reminders on time, I can go to this one. If I need reminders on field trips or anything coming up, I can go to this one. Um, so yeah, it, it's not entirely duplicate, but if I just need a quick referral of what and where and when, I will come to this one. And then we get into habit tracking. So I thought this is kind of, was, was kind of what was missing from my happy planner. Basic things, am I doing them? Um, and then tasks. So we're slowly trying to go through and get rid of things in our house that we no longer need or use. I'm not one to sell them even though we're on a debt-free journey. I much I prefer to donate mainly because when we were younger, we were, you know, I was that family always going to Salvation Army. Um, we still go to Salvation Army and, and thrift, shop, thrift stores. And there's a couple in our area that they accept donations and then they use, they, they sell them, their donations, if they're decent, they will sell things and use the money that they earned from selling to help support their homeless shelter for women and children that need to get out of their abusive um, households and whatnot. So I, I just prefer to, to donate my stuff that's still decent to that. If it's not anything that I think somebody else is gonna use, I, I trash it, to be honest. Or if it's so beyond repair, I trash it. This month, the kitchen is the focus and I have it broken down by what needs to get done. Weekly tasks here, how many drawers did I go through and purge, that kind of stuff. And then we get into the weeks. Now, I enjoy having the meal plan on one side and the top three for the other. And this was working great for me and other printables, but what was not was a gigundo time task. And I didn't wanna keep filling it in and the times were not the times that I'm usually awake. So up at six, bed by 11. Up at six, bed by 11 and then a nice chunky grid over here to write in our to-dos. And I still have to put meatballs in the crock pot. Oops, they're gonna be put in on high. And then so on and so forth. And I still decorate with Happy Planner stickers, but I find that I'm now not trying to fill in all the weird random space with stickers just to make it look kind of like sticker vomit on my pages. It's, it's more intentional and it's, it's helpful to keep me on task. And so then the other end of that, and then the outside in the vellum. Oh, nope, the vellum goes to this next one. This next one, I am not going to flip you through. This is very um, personal. It is, all, well, I will show you, it is also a Michaels, um, standard insert it was a three like I said it was a three pack that I got on clearance um, and I use this to take notes um, there are you know this many pages of notes in here already there's some post-its at the front and basically we we have to keep track of things between the two boys um, and so I, I write notes. And the reason I love to take this is that then when they're going to their, you know, their doctor's appointments or their therapy appointments, I can bring this with me and I can be like, look, this, this stuff has happened or these are questions I have or this is what has come up and I can just easily be done with it. And remember and not go, uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So that's very helpful. And this last one, I don't mind walking you through. This is, again, another Michaels 
It's the third in that three pack that I bought. And in this one is my health stuff. So I stopped tracking steps after a while, but I was tracking um, when I changed my contacts, any symptoms I was having, um, how I felt that day. I've been really bad about writing it in, um, but I'm getting better, much better than I was in the other planner. planner. So these are goals I have that I need to, to do this month and try to get better at, at tracking things, especially my allergy symptoms. So that's the last one. And then in the back, again, there's some more scrapbook paper and more um, script stickers and the meal plan stickers and trash day cleaning stickers in the back. So this for me is much more functional than the way I had it before, than just, um, you know, the happy planner that I could or could not take anywhere. So like, it's so much easier for me when we're, like I said, when we're going to appointments that deal with my boys, I can easily take this and um, have all the notes I need, have the, the, be able to see what's coming up, basically just have my life in this and it can easily travel with me. I can easily change it up. It's big enough that I can write in, uh, but it's not so big that I feel clunky taking it with me everywhere. I actually enjoy taking this places. That is my current planner setup. Um, if you guys wanna see plan with me, let me know and I can easily do that. I try to stick more to the functional over the decorative, but sometimes I like being decorative. So. so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more planning videos, more planner related videos, let me know in the comments below and I will do that. If you wanna see more of my videos, please click that subscribe button and until next time, bye. <laughs>